Well, you know, in just its second year with the Lehman Lightning men's soccer team, Coach Joseph Andre brought home the goal. Woo! What a great one. That's the third time in a row, right? No, third year. Third year in a row? Yeah, first championship. That's beautiful. So what is some of the, I know we spoke before, some of the things that you had to do to prepare uh, your team. You know, okay. To get them in that championship mode. Well, I focused, uh, like I said last time, on uh, the conditioning aspect. Yeah. You know, that's number one. But you can't one. give away all the secrets because the other no, teams. No, no, <laughs> I, can, I can't talk too much. Uh, but uh, conditioning is key. Okay, because yeah. uh, at the end of the day, you know, if you play 90 minutes of soccer and you have to go into overtime, which we did in the yeah. championship game, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what rises to the surface. Overtime or the later stages of the game where people get tired. Yeah, later oh, stages. can't do what they were doing early on. Uh, we basically own the last 30 minutes in yeah, overtime. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't seal it in overtime. We had to go to penalty kicks. Yeah. So um, the guys, they wanted me to, you know, yeah. endure it the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can, you got to do it the hard way, I guess. But conditioning is very important in many sports. I mean, when I used to box, you used to turn it on those last few rounds. You know, you, you, you wanted to reach back and, and dig and that, back and come up with that energy and that stamina that's it, the road to, work. To, to you know to take take it home or bring it home yeah the, the, the other road, guy was the all road tied. work the, yeah. rope, the rope jumping yes yes, yes. You, no one sees that they just see the knockout you know yeah. when the, you know the average guy is watching yeah yeah or yeah. gal you know they just wow nice you know you got him in a couple of rounds <laughs> but they don't see the hours put in exactly. running and rope jumping yeah you know abstaining <laughs> all the conditioning that it takes to, to come to that point yeah. what are some of the things that you don't give away everything but uh, some of the important things that you you guys do in order to condition yourselves obviously running but you you have to run and do some things yeah there are different that will simulate the game yeah there are different types of uh, running yeah you know you could <laughs> run all day straight straight ahead <laughs> That's not going to help you Coach is keeping much. secrets. Yeah, that's not going to help you much. <laughs> Talk about the showdown uh, with Baruch at Randall's Island. Wow. Uh, first of all, I got to give Baruch credit. They did, you know, they did bring some game to us. Uh -huh. You know, although we, we knew we were superior talent-wise. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we got, uh, some, we got some tape. We knew, you. we knew that uh, we were... Talent-wise, we had it, but mm -hmm. uh, they did bring their best game, yeah. I, I have to admit. But we uh, basically withstood, you know, their surge and, uh, you know, fought. At one point, we were down yeah. with about uh, 15 minutes left. And what did you tell your team? Uh, well, there's not much you could tell them. It's not like basketball where you could call time out and yeah. come regroup. Soccer right. is not that kind of animal. You it's continuous. There are no timeouts. Uh, the best thing you could do is prepare your team. I don't. I'm not a big talker on the sideline talking all day. Mm -hmm. If you're talking all day very often, there's nothing you could do to help them on game day. On I game firmly day. believe in that. The majority of the coaching is done. Everybody has to get it before the in day. the training sessions. Yeah. If you don't have it in the training sessions you're not going to get it on game day. So uh, I'm a firm believer in that. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's just not your day. And if you're losing 4 5 nothing, what are you going to really say <laughs> to get them to <laughs> score five goals in 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah. You know, so so uh, you kind of write things it. down, take some notes, and go back to the drawing yeah, board. Yeah, go back to the drawing board. <laughs> go fix it in the next practice. Whatever you saw that was wrong, yeah. You fix it in the next couple of practice sessions. Yeah. You know, bring their attention to it. So Talk, talk about the, uh, the penalty kicks. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Ama I knew the guys we had that could actually convert penalties based uh -huh. on uh, the regular season, based on practice. Mm -hmm. You know, I had them play this game, a knockout game in practice where everyone just lines up and takes penalties and soon as you miss you knocked out yeah so you know there's pressure to like you know keep making it let's you know boil it'll boil down to the last two or three yeah so we played that you know it was fun 
you know, they think we're having fun, but I'm observing <laughs> and I'm taking notes as to, yeah. you know, who the last few uh -huh. are. Yeah, yeah. And that was one of the uh, things I used to make the decision as to who the first hmm. five um, yeah. guys that were going to take penalties. Right, right. So who who who, who took the penalty? Uh, number the penalty twenty, takes? Umar Nayang. Uh -huh. Umar is um, the conference. Talk about some of your players. Oh, He's um, outstanding players. Umar is the conference player of the year. Yeah. Uh, in CUNY. Period. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually been um, put on the CUNY website, the conference website. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that is an amazing job. Uh -huh. The young man works quite a bit. Has to balance school. But um, I don't think there's a, you know, you can't pick three forwards in the region uh, that are better. You know, they, there's a couple I've seen, but he's right there in the top five, mm -hmm. absolutely. And it doesn't hurt that he's 6'4". Uh, yeah. So yeah. guys are climbing all <laughs> over him, you know, <laughs> trying to stop him from going forward. How, 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 how does... How does it work? I mean, is it easier to coach uh, uh, players who are more disciplined or you have to really get down and dirty and discipline them before? It's I mean, because you have a whole team of different people with different attitudes yeah, and personalities. Yes, uh, definitely. Um, the discipline, if they, if they have it already, makes it much easier because yeah. you don't have to blow a whistle in practice to kind of like get somebody to refocus. Right, right. You know, those guys that could, that know the value of and repetition. love the game and are passionate That about love it. the game. Yeah. Uh, they're not saying, you know, I mean, some of these guys, they don't know that I, I know they, you know, quietly saying, why are we doing this drill? Yeah, yeah, why are yeah. we doing that again? Why, you know, uh, but the guys that really love it, that are really, really they passionate, know. Yeah. they know. And they're just ready for the repetition. They're mm -hmm. just ready. Whatever we're about to do, they're ready to do it. Because they know what it takes to, to win a game. They know what's going to, you know, eventually be that mm. uh, point, you know, uh, what's going to change the game. Yeah. Now, you have a, your background is in, in soccer. You played the game. Yeah, I've played the game, absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, I played, you know, from five years old on up. Mm -hmm. At one point, uh, you know, I stopped playing. You know, I had this baseball fantasy at one point. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought I was going to play center field for the New York Yankees. All you right. know, I had a little love affair with baseball. There you go. All uh, right. And then, you know, it turned back around. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, you know, came back to the beautiful game. And <laughs> that's the soccer. real football, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> soccer. <laughs> All right, so what do we expect? Where do we go from here? Well, the bar has been raised. We've raised the bar, uh -huh. and we have to actually go and, you know, get to that, le that next step, uh -huh. that next level of teams that we want to compete with. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the national championship game on, uh, actually, the national championship first round on Saturday. Uh -huh. And that team, although th you could say they looked superior based on their efficiency and passing and what mm -hmm. have you but i you can beat them oh we we could beat that team <laughs> we you know yeah. new york city cuny you know uh -huh. the nature of you know guys working uh -huh. uh, balancing school and things of that nature we we don't have 25 26 in practice every single day you can't knock on a dorm room and say, come on down, yeah. we on the field. If the kid doesn't show up, you know, you know, yeah. at a certain time, you can't say, where is he? Go, go to the dorm. Because most there. people in the city, in the CUNY system, are living at home. They living come, at home, they're working, working. They're taking care of family. Taking care of family. Yeah. You know, believe it or not, some are, you know, taking care of nieces, yeah. nephews. They counted on to be a, a wage earner. Yeah. And, you know, serious way, not just, uh, you know, we'll pay this, it's, you know, $60 a month. You know, they're right. contributing heavily in the right. household. Congratulations, CUNY champs, Joseph Andre, Lehman School soccer okay. team. And congratulations to all of the, the, the players. Absolutely. And all of your fans. Yeah, Abs congratulations absolutely. to the fans, too.
You're a winner. Thank you. All right, Coach, thank you so much. All right. All right, uh, please visit more. Hold on, Coach. Please visit more at Lehman Lightning. You can visit uh, LehmanAthletics.com. And up next, we're going to lace up our sneakers. That's for the second annual Thanksgiving Marathon. We'll be right back in the flash. Right after this. Tattooing, bringing the road in. Sit back, much. relax.